Hello and welcome PML fans, I am your host Joseph Moore here, and I am bringing you week two of the PML draft. As you can see we do have a new layout, um, <clears throat> I just thought uh, the screen was too small on the other one, <clears throat> decided to go with this one, and we are ready to face off against the Knoxville Cacleon, coached by Jacob, good luck, have fun to you, and as you can see he does have some major threats. Uh, we did make some changes. Uh, we uh, dropped Rapidash for Twinkle Toes here. Um, but that was just because I knew we needed something different. But also, it, it is a good mod for this week because it can Oko, uh, Garchomp, and Gastrodon, given the right circumstances. We do got to watch out for that Ice Cube Belly Drumming. And... Um, yeah, I think we have a pretty good matchup in this battle, so we shall see. I'm going to go ahead and lead off Steely Dan here. Um, yeah, let's lead off Steely Dan and see what he does here because we are running out of time. So good luck again. Have fun, Jacob. And let's get this battle underway. All right, guys. Week one matchup. What does he? I mean, week two matchup. What does he lead? He's he sends out Alakazam. All right, so that's not too bad for us. Let's see what we can do here. He's probably gonna. Does he stay in or does he switch out? That's the real question. Um, I think he switches out. Actually, he might just stay in. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. So I'm going for the Earthquake. It hits his whole team. Uh, nothing really. He wants to switch into an Earthquake from a Steelix. And sorry if I'm lisping a lot. I have my uh, Invisalign in. So, All right. So he does switch. Probably thinking we're just going to go the Stealth Rock there. And he goes into Gastrodon. So we get good chip damage off on that. And actually... No, I'm going to switch. But um, we could have got the knockout there if we stayed in again. But I don't think we outspeed. <clears throat> I highly doubt it. We are a very slow Steelix. And uh, I'd rather not uh, lose Steelix so early on. I still want to get Stealth Rocks up later in the game. Mostly to break any sashes that could be relevant. Like Alakazam. I wonder who he thought we were going to lead though. Alright, so Steely Dan's coming back to us. And Twinkle Toes is going to take the field. And Twinkle Toes can take any hit this thing wants to give out. Alright, so... It's probably going to predict the Freeze Dry. And go to a Pokemon that can take it pretty well. So I'm going to go Focus Blast. Hits the rest of his team pretty hard. So let's see what he decides to go to here. I'm making a prediction early. I should probably just hit what's in front of me, but... Because he could just easily go for a recover, predicting. We're gonna predict, but you know, we'll see. We'll see uh, what he decides to do here. He's thinking about it. We are Eviolite, so our defenses are boosted, so we are able to take uh, hits a lot better than usual here. So we shall see. I've already... Oh, he stays in. I've already lost to a Garchomp team this week in a different draft. So I'm hoping... Uh, I'm hoping... Uh, what is that? Gonna yeah, I'm hoping we can beat this one. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to go freeze-dry here. He's clearly going to stay in. 
So freeze dry down goes Gastrodon. All right, what does that decide to go to here? Honestly, I'd really like him to go Ice Skew here because uh, special attacking moves go through. Uh, Drapion is his uh, position, though, so we're going to go straight to uh, Feely Dan here. This is uh, meant to hard counter Drapion. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing out here. Twinkle Toes still has a lot of viability left in this match. All right, so we got Steely Dan versus Drapion. He's Dynamaxing here. What does he go for? He probably goes for the max knuckle, if I had to guess. Depending on how much damage he does, we might burn our D-Max here just to wear his out. He goes for a max darkness. Oh, and that does nothing. So we can just earth earthquake into this thing. <clears throat> Alright, so we're just going to earthquake. Save our Dynamax for later. That's all this thing can do to us probably is dark max darkness. Yeah. And it's lowering our special defense. So it's not hurting us too much. Because you know that's a physical attacker. Let's see how much earthquake decides to do to this thing. Oh, well over enough damage. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let him waste his last turn of Dynamax. Oh, what was that? Oh, left open. Okay. I thought that was weakness policy for a second. All right, I'm going to let him waste that last turn of Dynamax. I'm going to go ahead and get Stealth Rocked up. And again, guys, sorry for the lisping. Uh, it's all the air coming out of my Invisalign when I talk. All right, let's see. What does he decide to do here? Does he go max protect? That'd be ideal if he went max protect. That way we could live the next hit. But nope, he just goes for max darkness once again. Takes us down to 32 HP. We're going to get our stealth rocked out. So Steely Dan doing his part. Getting some good chip damage off on Pokemon and getting the rocks up. To get uh, damage off on everything, breaking sashes on anything. And we might live another hit since he's not Dynamaxed anymore. So I'm just going to go Earthquake here. And what does he decide to do? I mean, he can't switch out because he's just going to take damage on something unnecessarily. So he's going to go for the knockoff. He's going to take uh, Rock's damage. I mean, uh, Rocky Helmet damage. So that's good for us. I wish uh, Drapion was a little less healthy. So we could have Rapid Spin killed him. But that's not going to happen. I don't want to waste my Dynamax just yet. So we're going to go ahead. Mm. I'm going to go Lone Wolf, but I'm not going to Dynamax. I'm just going to close combat kill it. So close combat we go. Takes down the Drapion. Gets a kill for Lycanroc. Lone Wolf, I like to call him. Alright, so now he's down two Pokemon to one. Let's see what he decides to go to here. Probably goes Garchomp or Ice Q. I have, I'd have to guess. And if he goes Ice Q, 
Or Garchomp, yeah. So we're gonna go straight, uh... Straight Clefable. Which we call Yoda here. So here we go, straight into Yoda. Our big tanky wall. And he's gonna go into Earthquake. Shouldn't do much. There we go. We get our leftovers. And now we're going to start cosmic powering to get our defenses up. He might switch. Alright, cool. So we get a free... <clears throat> free cosmic power here. And little does he know, we are not unaware. We are actually magic guard. So if he tries to toxic us, uh, that's just going to help us. Because we're not going to take damage from it. So I'm just going to keep cosmic powering here. And we're faster, so that's a good thing. I think three should be enough. Oh, he's going to go Stealth Rock. Alright. I don't see how that helps him too much in in his case. But, uh, that's fine. I mean, the only thing it really affects is Mr. Mime, and I'm not too worried about Mr. Mime in-game. So I'm going to Cosmic Power one more time. Then I'm going to, uh... Moonlight, and then I'll start attacking. Okay. I just hope he doesn't drop our special defense. I mean, it wouldn't bother us too much if he did. I just don't want to see it happen. So we get our Moonlight off, we're going to get our health back. We can't have soft boiled for some weird reason, but, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, Earth Power comes off again, does nothing. And now we are in prime position to get some kills here with Yoda. So we're going to go ahead and go Stored Power here. Oh, and that doesn't do much either. Kray Dilly is built bulky. On the special defensive side. Uh, we might just want to Moonblast here, actually. Because then, uh... That might lower its special attack. So let's just go ahead and go for the Moonblast here. And also, Stab might do a little more. Oh, yeah, it does. And we get the special attack ball. And it's going to go for the Giga Dream, which isn't going to help too much. And one more Moonblast should take it out. All right. it Actually, we're in a prime position here to just win the rest of this battle just with the Fable. So hopefully we can pull this off. So Clefable gets a kill here on Kray Dilly. Um, we don't have to deal with Toxic. So uh, he didn't see if we're in Magic Guard or not yet. So he might still think we're unaware. Which honestly wouldn't be bad for us. Let's see what he decides to go to here. I mean, anything he goes into, we just pretty much Moonblast, right? Alakazam. Yeah, we're just going to Moonblast. We're not going to store power. Breaks a Sash, thanks to the rock. So he's not Magic gu magic Coat or Magic Guard. So yeah, we're just going to Moonblast here. We can't Dynamax because it is a Tier 2 Mon or a Tier 1 Mon. Tier 2. One of those. I think Tier 2. But either way, we can't Dynamax it. But don't need to. We got great defenses. And we're just going to Moonblast here. Let's see how much Moonblast does. And that's a good chunk. 
real good chunk and that's not even invested in attack so yoda's just gonna keep peeling up here as we go moonblast crazy as we go moonblast crazy oh and that's what i realized too uh in the in our week one um we could have just like when we we're we had dracovish in front of uh azumarill we could have just went straight to clefable and I brain farted completely and stayed in and basically threw the match <laughs> at that point, in my opinion, because I was just like, I had an option and I didn't take it. I don't know why I didn't think about it. But we get the kill there on Alakazam with another Moonblast. Ice Q's coming in now and most likely going to try to uh, belly drum up, but we're going to go ahead and Moonblast here. Even if it's faster, we probably get the kill after the Moonblast. High School Crash comes off. Trying to make a splinch, probably. Yep, we flinched. And he could flinch us out. Um, it looks like it does a little more damage than our leftovers can heal. So, let's hope that doesn't happen. So, we're just going to be here Moonblasting. So, then I just started blasting. Oh, and he missed an Ice School Crash. So Moonblast is going to come off. Does a good chunk of damage again. And we're going to heal up some more. And that's going to be pretty much the rest of this battle. Just Moonblasting and taking hits. I mean, if anything, he could get a crit. But uh, I, I shouldn't have said that out loud, huh? <laughs> Alright, he's going to go uh, Substitute there. And he's going to get a Speed Boost. Not, I don't think that's going to help him too much there. Uh, we're going to break his sub. And let's see what he decides to do here on the last turn. Maybe he's trying to stall out for the timer so I don't get the full three points for the win. But I, I don't think the timer's an issue at the moment. I mean, we are 17 minutes into this battle. But actually, the first minute was like picking our team. So we are 16 minutes into this battle. Maybe he's trying to flinch us out some more. No, he doesn't get the flinch. So Moonblast is going to go ahead and get this kill here. So Clefable on a tear. Now all we have left is uh, the Garchomp here. And let's see what he decides to do with it. He might try his Swords Dance or something. But I am completely okay with uh, the Fable just winning this battle here. Maybe he has Iron Head. We'll get a couple flinches. Alright. Go Spire Fang. Oh, that gets a flinch as well. Wow. His whole team just has flinch hacks all over it. But hopefully we can get this last kill before timer runs out. Because I really don't want a timer win. I want a real win. But he is determined to hacks us to death. Luckily, we don't get flinched there. And we go ahead and get the Moonblast off and almost Oko's the Garchomp. All right, and I'm just clicking away, Moonblasting as fast as I can. At least he's picking his moves quick. I can respect that. I, I get he's trying to flinch us out, but he's also trying to uh, not waste time on the battle either. Uh, Clefable goes ahead and gets the Garchomp kill there. And we win our battle. So Clefable was the mastermind behind this defeat. And GG to Jacob. We take a 1-1. One one. We take a 5-0 win.